Okay. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Why is the soup in a barrel? Soup in a barrel. Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. Okay, fair point. Um. What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business his speakeasy i cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the 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 feature damn soup hip squeak got it okay I i've got some more ideas about your soup do tell let's see have you tried uh paprika paprika, paprika? Uh, i i just think it could use a little uh, color color hmm. okay so he moves that like if i try to lift up the counter he's gonna get mad at me that much i know so the question becomes for management only, Rummy. Okay. Uh, now, here is the question. Can I get around to the back side? Is that area unlocked now? It is not. Do I have to go through all the options and say, Hey, uh, why don't you try what's in one, one of those barrels? Um, so... So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not-so-well-to-do. And no other and no purposes, other purposes whatsoever. whatsoever. Yeah. Right. Um, more ideas. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Barrels of soup. Kitchens for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Okay. Uh, um. <sighs> Bowl of crummy soup. I, I guess I just gotta hope that the guy walks in. Tried the kitchen door. <clears throat> okay. It, kid? I've got I more still ideas. Think the soup needs more flavor. <sighs> okay. I didn't try the door because it's got the ta the folded up tables next to it. Emmett, help me with his door. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Emmett! Get your sorry ass over here. Yes? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? 
So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Pretty much. No, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. <sighs> God. Got anything? Uh. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Maybe I want him sitting in that chair so that he can, uh... uh Emmett needs a lever. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without... Yeah, yeah. Emmett needs a lever. Where's the lever? Lever. Eureka! Okay. He seems to have figured out something. Pretty neat, Doc. Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Uh -huh. Emmett. Yes? Nice door jam. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. God, I hate this. <clears throat> what is it, kid? I still think the soup needs more flavor. So, if we leave... Now, I... Doc Jr.'s thing, Bob holds out. Damn it. Okay, so... What if I do this What about those barrels? What about them? What kind of soup is that? It's not so... Uh, it's a uh, special soup. soup. What's special about it? It, uh, it's made for grown-ups, kid. Huh. Is soup for grown-ups? That's right, kid. Be nosy. See where it gets you. Okay, fair enough. Uh -uh. What is it, kid? Mind if I look around a bit? Nope. Are those all cabbage soup? Last time I checked. Would you have any other kinds of soup? Nope. Barrels of bootleg alcohol. A God. barrel of that soup? Barrel of soup? Absolutely not, kid. Even at times like these, I can tell you ain't that hungry. Okay, so... Here's what I'm thinking is supposed to happen. 
if the uh, the baker's rack falls down, he'll grab the soup, pick it up, and mix it in with the regular soup. Ideally, ideally, uh, Edna picks out a uh, uh, speaking of which, ah, Miss Strickland, come for some more soup. Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Uh, that one's alcohol. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. Wow. She is... <sighs> Emmett's invention. Why not? Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy, buddy, can I have some more soup? Some like good stuff with the 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 stuff you put in there. I still think the soup needs more flavor. A pipe. I got it. 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 I'm so smart. I figured it out on my own. So, unfortunately, Tell a kid that soup or no soup, he's not fooling anyone. <sighs> I seriously hope she's not delivering that to the orphans. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. <sighs> okay. Oh, Edna, maybe hey, you should bring that one with you uh, tonight. Mr. Corleone, I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Um, you asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Yeah. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Wait there! Michael! What in what? the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. She's a bootlegger oh, now. Out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're well behaved. They're really polite. We don't know that. All right, we know they're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. What's wrong with a little noise? It'll be like a party. My pop is not the partying type. <laughs> They'll be quiet. be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes. I play my tambourine very softly. Oh, okay. you back? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. But think of the Stay, think sober, the stay sober Society. society. To them. 
They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. But I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. Uh, the answer is still no. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket-powered drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington, and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! <laughs> okay. Damn, he's a good poker player. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Oh, uh, Miss Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, I'm uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I think I just I did something. I have a bad feeling about this. I do too. You worry too much, Emmett. 